Welcome back, everybody. So today we are going to be working on the word want. So if you have your core board at home, make sure you have it out. We're going to be using it a lot with our book. And we're going to be looking at the book. If you give a pig a party. So any of these books, if you give a dog a donut, if you give a mouse a cookie, any of these books are going to be an excellent way to target core vocabulary, to work on social skills, to work on new vocabulary even, some synonyms. There are so many different things you can work on with these books, and they're just really fun. I mean, they're one of my favorite books to read. So, If You Give a Pig a Party by Laura Numeroff and illustrated by Alicia Bond. So first, we need to open our book up and turn the pages. If you give a pig a party. If you give a pig a party, can you find the pig? Let's turn our page. He's going to ask for some more balloons. He's going to want more balloons. When you give her the balloons, she'll want to decorate the house. When she gets the balloons, she's going to want to put them up. Let's turn our page. When she's finished, she'll put on her favorite dress. She's going to want to put on her favorite dress. Then she'll call all her friends and invite them to the party. She's going to make sure all of her friends are there. Let's turn our page. Her friends won't be home, so you'll go with her to look for them. Let's look and see if we can find her friends on the way. She'll see a street fair. She'll want you to take her on the bumper cars. So when she saw the street fair, she wanted to go on the bumper cars. Let's turn our page. All her friends will be there. Let's look and see if we can find all of her friends. Here we have a fox and a cat and a bunny and a moose and a dog. <gasps> And even a little mouse. All of her friends are there. Then you'll have to take her on all the rides. So she wants to go on all of the rides. 
she'll want to play all the games too. So she's gonna want to play the games and go on all the rides. Let's turn the page to see what they do next. When she's done, she'll ask you for some ice cream. She wants ice cream. When she's finished eating the ice cream, she'll need to change her clothes and you'll have to take her home. So when she's finished eating, she'll have to go home. Let's turn the page to see what they do. She'll ask her friends to come along. She wants her friends to go. On the way, she'll start a game of hide and seek. She decided she wanted to play hide and seek so she could look for all of her friends. She's covering her eyes and counting. One, two, three, four. Do you see her friends hiding? to see if you can find all her friends. I think you helped her. Let's see if she can find them. When you finally get home, you'll have to make dinner. When you go home, you'll have to make dinner. Then she'll want to have a sleepover, so you'll have to find pajamas. So after they ate, she decided she wanted a sleepover. And blankets and pillows for everyone. They all wanted a blanket and a pillow. When she sees the pillows, she'll probably start a when she sees the pillows, she's going to want. A pillow fight. Let's turn the page and see what she does next. Then she'll make a fortress out of blankets. Of course, when she's finished, she'll want to decorate it. So she'll ask for some, let's see what she wants. I need to turn the page. Balloons, and chances are, if you give her some balloons, She gets the balloons, what's she going to want? Let's turn and find out what she wants. She's going to ask you for a party. The end. 
So in our book, what did our pig want? She wanted a party. And let's think, did she get that party? Yes, she did. Our pig got what she wanted. Thanks for following along, guys. Until next time, goodbye.